Good morning. Welcome agents and brokers. I'm Valeria Hernandez from Benavis. Today we will help you master your skills with this Clear Spring Health Medicare webinar. After our presentation, we will open the floor for your questions. Let me introduce our guest speakers for today. They are Kinasha and Scott Van Order. All right, thank you so much. I do appreciate that, the introduction. Um, we also have got um, one other team member um, who won't be presenting, but will still be here um, uh, for us as well. His name is Chase uh, Betzel. Um, and he, um, Chase, if you wanna go ahead and introduce yourself before we go ahead and hop into the um, presentation. Sure, good morning, everybody. Uh, appreciate your time this morning. I'm here to listen, but... Um... I am, uh, I've joined the Clear Spring Health team on the national distribution side. So uh, we're excited to kind of share some, some information with you about 2024 plan details. And uh, hopefully you find it as exciting as we do. All right, awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen here. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. All right. And thank you guys for uh, for joining us today. This is going to be our second round with Benavis. Um, and um, just to kind of get into some some key takeaways before we jump into product. Um, we did launch our Clear Spring Health certification on August 1st this year. Um, so for any brokers that have certified with us in the past, um, you can simply go into the Evolve Broker Portal, um, which will allow you to just uh, simply recertify through there. Um, if you are new to Clear Spring Health, um, you can also either contact your upline, which would be, you know, Hugo um, and Jean, or you can uh, contact our uh, broker uh, sales team as well, who will get you set up right away um, to get Clear Spring Health certified and ready to sell for plan year 24. Um, also, the presentation that you guys are going to be uh, seeing here today is going to be available on a broker first look landing page. Um, so it will give you guys a glimpse into our uh, new plans that we're, we're launching into um, the, the AEP selling season and um, just some of the exciting um, benefits that your members will be able to um, indulge in once their their plans do effectuate. So um, just want to get, uh, you know, get you guys uh, up to speed on what you guys can do now before uh, October 15th. Um, and with that being said, um, I'm going to go ahead and hand it off to Scott here so he can go more into detail about who we are as a carrier and as an organization. Thank you, Kanasha, for that. And and again, wanting to get everyone on the phone to let everyone know, you know, who we are and what we're about, right? Um, the organization that we represent is Clear Springs Healthcare, but we're we're part of a bigger organization. That bigger organization falls in the family of Group One Thousand One. When we should know a little bit more about that parent company, well, it's over a sixty billion dollar company and growing, right? We're a very diverse uh, family of, of different sister companies underneath. And I won't go into all of them, but some of those that on the screen that really pop out, um, if you've been in the industry, as long as I have, and I'm, I'm dating myself a little bit, is that they were, were a life insurance company, um, A plus rated company, um, it, one of the bigger ones in the United States. Um, following that is we have our Clear Springs insurance uh, portion of the umbrella that that again falls within um, that umbrella of different aspects of different insurance uh, from the liability, the auto, all those other things. But again, keeping that A rating, right? And again, you'll see that theme throughout here. And so again, we, we are not um, owned by Wall Street. We're a private equity company. So that's huge to kind of just keep in the back of your mind is wh where's the money coming from and uh, overall bigger aspect, you know, we're in that part of that Gambridge group, but self-managed innovative digital platform that gives that direct access, right? For the annuities and things. And you'll see throughout our presentation, we kind of follow suit of that, um, that um, electronic platform, so to speak. And I guess at the bottom, you can see all those partners that we we are partnered with in, in from the Gamers Group to the RVI Group, very well and established company. Next slide. When you dive a little bit deeper into uh, who we are, you know, 
we want to be able to explain, you know, what is it that we represent, right? We're not only an insurance company, but we go deeper than that. And we have different affiliations that just help out um, different organizations throughout the United States, right? And some of these, you right, pop right off the, 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 you know, page at me, right? You know, from the Indy 500 to the Pacers, right? Um, to the Billie Jean King group, right? All these good advocacy things that we do to really get our name um, out there and partner with these organizations that can help propel us to that next level. And so knowing, knowing that and, and who we are about it, it's really good to, you know, let you know what we do, right? From those food banks in Indiana to all those sports groups. I mean, we're really into um, sports and those initiatives to help the youth. A high over level, right? For the 2024 season, we're so excited. Like Kanasha said, we're adding 76 expansion counties. Not only that, we're bringing the CSNIP plans into our entire HMO footprint, which gives us the wealth and depth of having additional selling outside of just AEP, right? Um, some of the top highlights, again, won't read through them. You know, we, ha we have a very competitive HRA that pays that one, of, I think, one of the toppest levels for the DSNP and the HMO. And then also we reward the, the member, right, as a $40 credit. Again, you're going to see the theme throughout today's presentation about how we will reward members for maintaining and being healthy. And at the end of the day, it's about that, right? Helping those members have that ability to be healthy, be happy, um, and enjoy their plan, right? And that goes into, again, we will have a very competitive CSIP plof offering this year in all of our core markets. And I know that you really focus in on Illinois, Georgia, and Colorado, but throughout the markets, we are very competitive. Again, this year, uh, again, with that low, again, in some areas, it, it just details the low end $75 food card available on all plans, right? With no health conditions and Kenosha will get into that. Something really interesting to know about our plan as you sell that, um, a lot of the chassis is built on HMO plans, but we have the wealth of the PPO, the CSIP, and the DSIP. But something to remember is we do not require referrals on our HMO plans where some other plans restrict you to that. Something I'll talk about once we get to that slide is, again, rewarding those members for being healthy, right? Rewarding them um, uh, for uh, getting their flu vaccine, their annual wellness completing the HRA. Now they can earn up to a thousand dollars. Now will everyone earn that? No, because everyone has their own um, level of commitment to the plan. But, you know, I would say safely, there's about $290 if they're hitting all their top eight metrics of seeing a physical, getting their, their flu shots, their annual wellness exam, et cetera. And we'll get that out to you. But again, rewarding those members for maintaining and being healthy. And we're finding out, if you look closely at some of these plan finders in certain key areas, as of just this last week now that you can see a lot of this, we're ranked one, two in key markets, if not three or four in some of these others, where the cream is gravitating towards the top. And uh, you will see our, our plan this year of all years really, again, rising um, up through that plan finder. Something we really worked on and are proud of is reestablishing strong doctor network hospitals. We have a team that, just focuses on additional PCPs, hospitals that go out there and drive that engagement behind the scenes. And again, as a plan that's in its sixth year, that's where the key is, right? We can have a great vehicle, but if we don't have the facilities, the hospitals, the doctors, that all kind of falls apart. And we've done a great job this year. Our network team has partnered with us really, really severely. And then throughout, we have, again, if it goes to that, we do have additional co-op marketing opportunities um, that will, you know, make it way, way down into the field if we have some field presence um, for the agents. And so just a high level opportunity, who we are, what we're about, and what we can kind of offer this year. And with that, I'll kind of pass it back to Kanasha. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Scott. Um, so just a little uh just to piggyback off of um, what Scott mentioned, um, high level overview, we are currently operating in five um, key states. That's Illinois, Georgia, South Carolina, Colorado, and Virginia. Um, and so uh, with, <laughs> with the plan year 24 um, approaching, uh, we are expanding into 76 new counties in total in those five 
uh, key states, and we're adding six new MAPD plans uh, to each new market. Um, what you'll see as far as the theme um, going into uh, this new year is cost savings for your members, and um, we're going to be honing more on uh, chronic special needs plans, uh, because that's where we're seeing um, the need lie with, with the member. Um, so a lot of the, um, the, the core uh, benefits that, you, that you're familiar with that you're going to see, we are increasing um, the max benefits in those areas, and they're going to tie into um, an even larger uh, program that's going to help um, out-of-pocket costs for our members. So I'm going to go ahead into um, our, our next slide. So um, some of the, um, <laughs> some of the key things that I want you guys to pay attention to as we get into some of our core states, um, it, it is the monthly premium, which we have, uh, no monthly premium for any of our, uh, MAPD plans in our markets. We also offer, uh, zero dollar co-payments on our primary, uh, care doctors, as well as endocrinologist specialists on all of our plans. Um, in all of our markets. Um, one of the things that Scott mentioned was the Better Health for You program. How that ties um, into our MAPD plans is we have what you guys are familiar with, which is over-the-counter benefits. Um, our members also get grocery benefits um, and we're um, adding something new to the mix uh, this year, which is the, um, I'm sorry, um, what, what we're adding new um, to the mix is the living expense uh, benefit, which is going to cover our members' utility uh, bills. And so uh, for each plan, of course, it's going to vary the max benefit amount that they get, but the Better Health for You program is where they can maximize on those uh, key areas by um, essentially utilizing their plan. Um, so that means they can either go in for a vaccination, they can get an annual wellness exam or um, different forms of uh, health screenings. They can either, um, they can also uh, be rewarded for uh, filling out their health risk assessment. Um, and by doing that, as you can see the different um, uh, max amounts that they'll receive back, uh, those can either go towards their OTC card or their grocery card, or it can go towards the uh, utilities uh, benefit that they're receiving. The Better Health for You program is built into all of our MAPD plans um, across our market. So um, this is uh, again, a new program that we're, we're really um, wanting you guys to um, focus on um, when communicating and, and pitching these plans to your members um, and, and really understanding how it works um, with those additional supplemental benefits. And um, I'm actually going to stop here just in case you guys uh, have any uh, questions so far. And I'm Sorry, I can't see any um, anybody on the screen. So, uh, if um, I'm checking the chat, I don't see anything in the chat. Can I? Okay, gotcha. Sorry, because I just don't see anything. Thank you. All right. Um, one of the um, key things that you're really gonna want to focus on is the um, HRA. It's really important um, at, at post enrollment that you go ahead and get the HRA filled out on behalf of your member. Um, one, uh, you're incentivized on top of the additional, you know, on top of the commission that you're receiving, um, you're going to receive the uh, additional incentive for filling out the HRA. Um, but how this benefits your member is that one, they automatically qualify for a Clear Spring Health tablet. And two, um, you, you make sure that you're taking care of them um, for future reference or in the long run, meaning when you fill out the HRA, then those, um, for example, the utilities benefit um, that automatically qualifies them um, to utilize that benefit once uh, the HRA is filled out. Um, and yeah, it just, make, it just ensures that the benefit um, sorry, the benefits that are in the uh, in the NRMAP plans um, 
your member is able to um, essentially make sure that they're um, being able to use them as soon as their plan effectuates. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and hand it off to Scott here. All right, and so one of the programs we like to mention or talk about, I lost the technical, is our eCare home monitoring program. Again, with this program, those participants uh, that will receive additional equipment to take care of their vital signs. And we know a lot of seniors now um, are able and um, equipped to do these things. And again, what's great about this is all these results will transfer over to an e-care nurse uh, that will coordinate and read and again, respond back to you to discuss results and next steps, right? And so a lot of the things and programs that we have are you know, just about that, right? About the, the technology that we have and the resources that we have available for your members. And again, understanding how the e-care home monitoring program works uh, will be a little bit more into um, the plan descriptions and the EOCs, right? But again, letting those members know that we have that ability to, again, work with them virtually to have a, a, a e-care nurse coordinate with you, review the findings, readings. And then the, the most important thing is, what is the next steps? Uh, we know keeping them out of the hospital in the beginning by doing all these monitors and checks only, you know, bodes well in the end, right? Keeping them healthy in the beginning. So. More to come on that. I'm gonna jump right into Colorado. Having lived in Colorado 19 years, I'm really excited about our, our trajectory this year um, for 2024. We've expanded into 11 additional counties, which gives us the breadth and the depth to help those additional members where we couldn't uh, have that ability because of our limitations of where we were in 2023. But with those key 11 counties, you'll see that we have now stretched ourselves from the northern part of the state. If you know the state of Colorado, I-25 kind of divides it and the mountains are on that, that west side of it. So from um, Fort Collins all the way down to number 19, I know it's hard to see in there, that Pueblo area, we have the depth and wealth of all the core hospitals and medical groups. And so when I say that we are very well positioned in Colorado, we are very well positioned in Colorado um, and excited about that. And then when we add in that, that chronic special needs plans to help those individuals, um, it, it's just the icing on the cake. To go a little bit more in depth here, and I won't read through all this, but you're going to see a constant theme. And, and again, what, what gravitates towards the top is that consistency. And sometimes, you know, beautiful, I mean, boring is beautiful, but when you see a monthly premium for uh, zero for 2023, it, it, it holds it holds over for 2024. So you'll see that consistency. Like Kanasha said, a monthly premium zero on all of our core plants. That's in all states. The medical deductible is going to be zero. And then again, that key selling point we always like to talk about is what is my max out of pocket? All of these max out of pockets meets, ends, or exceeds all of the additional competition within the market, right? And when I say that, we're at that level or below that level. Again, very competitive on the PCP visits. And then something I want to mention as I've, I've gone through some of our competitors, the endocrinologist is a zero uh, copay where all other carriers seem to have gone back to a, a, a copay of $25, if not 30 in Colorado, for example. And again, we may, we want our members to maintain and be healthy. And so again, zero is a copay on preventative and comprehensive services for the dental, right? So we have dental on here. We have all the bells and whistles. We have the vision. And then we had mentioned again, the over-the-counter uh, portion of it, again, depending on the plan that you take from the low of 75 up to 92. And something we're excited about is, again, a grocery benefit that is built into all the plans um, to help those seniors um, live a more healthier life. So on top of all those, the e-tablet, the e right, uh, the additional benefits, these plans are very, very solid for 2024. Back over to Kanasha, if you uh, handle the Illinois market. 
Yes, uh, I can go ahead and take it from here. So as you guys can see, um, Illinois is a large state um, geographically and, and vertically. Um, it's, it's one of my um, favorite states and our, our core markets. Um, we won't be expanding into any new counties this year for Illinois. However, we are adding two new chronic special needs plans um, to the mix. And as you can kind of see to the left there, there are some of our um, network highlights. As far as our top performing counties that you guys are gonna wanna pay attention to, um, that's gonna be primarily Cook County, um, which of course encompasses the entire city of Chicago as well as several surrounding suburbs. Um, our second um, highest performing county as far as member enrollment goes is Rockford County. Um, as you get into our plans, you'll uh, start to see uh, why um, that, that currently is. Um, our current plans um, that are already existing in the market is the Community Advantage, um, as well as the Clear Spring Health Essential HMO plan. Um, the Community Advantage plan, as you can see, it's a very competitive plan, not only because of the $0 monthly premium and the medical and uh, prescription drug deductible, but it's a $0 copay on both the PCP and specialist doctors. So we attract a lot of people um, with um, both Medicare and Medicaid, as well as low income subsidy. About three years ago, Illinois defunded dual special needs plans in the state. So uh, Medicare um, eligibles who also qualified for Medicaid had to disenroll from their DSNP plan. Uh, so what we did to mitigate um, that problem was uh, the Community Advantage Plan was born um, so that um, just off the bat, it looked as if it was mirroring a DSNP plan. And so we offer the, um, the highest amounts of um, allowances for both uh, you know, dental, vision, and hearing. Um, and we offer the max amounts on our OTC and our grocery benefit. And now with the plan year um, 24, uh, plan year 24 approaching um, and us adding the utilities benefit to the mix, um, it's now going to include um, the, you know, the utilities um, to also help your members cover those out-of-pocket expenses. So with that being said, uh, the Community Advantage Plan, it does um, it is being offered in the, the Cook County area, um, as well as um, several other uh, counties. And so this is our highest grossing plan um, where we see the most member enrollments. Um, so we expect to see um, this plan still be very popular um, going into the new year. Uh, the essential plan perform uh, relatively well uh, last year. Um, doesn't have a zero dollar specialist copay um, like the community advantage plan. However, it does have a, a slightly lower max out of pocket um, for members. So um, it, it still is it's, it still is pretty popular um, seeing as how it, it's still gonna save your members um, on the deductible, on the premium, and it's still a pretty uh, competitive specialist copay of $35. Uh, we also offer a little bit more in over-the-counter uh, allowance and grocery uh, for the essential plan. So it still performs pretty well. Um, and then uh, as far as the new plan uh, being offered in the service area, uh, this is the new CSNP plan um, out of, um, all plans, um, we are excited to see how this one performs. It's gonna give more um, in the max benefit amount for dental. Um, and it's also gonna offer a lower call pay on specialist visits. Um, so really excited to see how the CSNIP plan um, performs in the Illinois market um, for the upcoming year. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hand it off to uh, Scott for Georgia. Thank you, Kanasha. Uh, and in Georgia, excited about Georgia as our biggest growth state for 2024, the expansion of 42 different counties for the HMO and PPO. And so, again, you'll see where we currently were and, and currently have added on the, the depth of all those counties and fills in very 
Georgia very nicely. And again, we've done our due diligence of working the network um, hospital facilities and the PCPs. And again, you'll see some of those key key um, partners of ours that will you know rise to the top. And newest one uh, being Wellstar Physicians Group. We're excited to have them on, um, along with the Emory Medical Care Foundation. So again, we've done our due diligence to not only enter in all these different counties that gives us the depth and the depth of additional potential members, but again, focusing in on some of those key markets, Fulton, DeKalb, and Cobb, Big, Bib, and then the Cherokee. And this, you've I've done some homework in the last 24 hours to really dive deep into the Georgia market, and, and in some of these key markets, such as the Metro Atlanta area. We are coming up as a plan of one, two, and or three. Uh, I'll be honest, the PPO, there's a lot of competition within the Georgia market. So that might not gravitate as high to the top as the HMO plans, but I'm just giving you a little insight into where we fit within the market. So next slide. And when we talk about Georgia, it, it is one of our um, most robust states, meaning we have the full suite of plans from that select HMO. Again, that freedom of choice, I like to say that PPO, because you will have those individuals that want to not be within a network um, and have that ability in that freedom of in-network, out-of-network, for whatever reason, we have that there. But we will focus in on, again, that HMOC step that we're excited about launching in on and those additional benefits. And then we'll have the, the traditional um, thoroughfare, right? Our deluxe HMO DSNP, which, again, uh, brings in the depth and wealth of you know, a lot of our membership. But again, across the board, again, boring is beautiful, right? A monthly premium zero, same with the medical deductible very competitive and max out of pockets, right? Um, the PCP visits very much in line. And again, we know that 20% of the DSNP, right? You know, it's negotiated, uh, depends on the means of that member, right? So that, that, that differentiate, differentiates ourselves there. Again, that endocrinologist, right? Where again, we we'll gravitate towards the top is a lot of the carriers out there are going to a copay where we are not, right? Very competitive. Dental, you'll see uh, Georgia is one of our um, states that have a max benefit from as low as 2000 on a plan up to a 4000 on the DSNP. So again, a little bit more depth uh, within these uh, dental plans within Georgia. But we also have, again, all the bells and whistles from the vision services, right? And, and again, frames and lenses, right, for all those things that the seniors need. And then, uh, you know, what I like is, you know, the over-the-counter, right? A, a variant smatter of uh, different types of per month. Um, just remember, it's no, no rollovers, right? And again, to the grocery benefits, um, maintaining and make sure these members are, you know, having adequate uh, meals at the end of the day. And again, you'll see this uniformed on all of our plans that we're excited about this year. I don't know how much you guys do in South Carolina, but I'll, I'll give you just, a, a, again, a, a thousand, 50,000 put overview. Stop me if we don't need to go down to South Carolina um, and, I, and I can stop and then maybe we can go on to some additional questions. But again, you'll see the same thing. We've done our due diligence to add in and continuing to work with South Carolina and some of those key markets, those border, those border counties of, um, you know, South Carolina, Greenville, Spartanville, where, you know, we really wanted to backfill. And what we did here is not only add nine additional counties where we're really focused in on additional hospitals and medical groups, right? Making the vehicle a little bit stronger uh, than what it was in 2023. And so, again, some of those key parts partners that we have, um, you know, just par partnered this year in, in 24 with our excited is that bond secures that in that Greenfield area, right? And so we'll see a lot of um, trajectory uh, within our plan for the 2024 selling season. Next slide. And then South Carolina kind of follows suit with along with Georgia it has the full suite of plans from that select HMO to that, like I like to say, that freedom of choice of having that PPO along the lines. And again, having added into that HMO C SNP plan, 
um, which we had in um, South Carolina previously. We've kind of expanded it to our other core markets, but that was there. And then that deluxe HMO DSNIP plan. Again, everything zero across the boards, competitive MOOP, right? PCP is zeros, right? Again, focusing on those specials visits, very competitive for those people that need to have that additional um, support within specialists. Again, all the bells and whistles from the uh, dental um, max is 2000 as low as 1500. Again, building in the vision, right? Or the over the counter and then following suit with the groceries on all of these plans, which is, which is huge this year for 2024. Go to the next slide. And then following out is our last state of Virginia. Uh, additional 14 additional counties uh, and added the, the chronic special needs plan into the mix. And again, Key hospitals and networks um, from the VCU Health Hospital to the Richmond VCU community, key partners of ours this year. We've done our due diligence again to work to backfill hospitals, clinics, and facilities, and we do have a wealth of uh, top markets. I will say that Virginia, there are some SARS in some areas, meaning there is Mary Washington, which is closing its doors up, and two of our key counties that will overlay and there's about 5,200 members that are going to be searching for a plan. And so if you do your due diligence and look up uh, in Virginia specifically and go to the plan finder, Medicare, you will see we are either in a couple of counties, one and or two, if not three or four in most of them. So we are expecting a lot of additional um, you know, support in Virginia this year. Again, we will go with the, the stable of plans that we have, the HMO, the HMOC SNP, and then again, that freedom of choice of PPO. Again, zeros across the board, very competitive MOOP to the zero PCP visits. Specialists are all in line, if not um, a bit, little bit better than some of our competition. Again, adding on all the bells and whistles uh, from the preventative dental and comprehensive, the vision services, over the counter, and then the grocery benefit, which is included in all the plans that we offer this year. Kanasha, do you want to take those or do you want me to go through this? She might be having some technical it, issues. But again, this is just a high level overview of extra benefits for the members. What else do we do to, you know, help our members maintain and be healthy, right? And again, some of this, you know, pertains, you could, I said a max benefit on some of the plans up to 4,000, right? But to know that we have a, a strong dental plan, we use Dental Quest, we have a vision benefit um, that we uh, have this year. Uh, and vision and hearing, so to speak. And so again, additional programs that allow for our members to have glasses, contacts and hearing aids and max benefits up to $1,500 in some of these markets. Talked about the e-care experience, right? That tablet, we actually will give a member a tablet and we'll talk about, it. I think we have a slide that refers to that. So when a member completes an HRA, when you complete that, we actually uh, put their health assessment on this tablet and send it out to a member. What a great incentive. And again, it's a tablet and it's for that member to keep, maintain and utilize. But we like to say it's more about the social aspect of it. They can do video calling, they can download app, apps, uh, they can you know, connect with those loved ones that they may have not been able to connect with you know, since COVID out there. But again, rewarding that member, right? They did the HRA, we'll send them out that tablet. Uh, not only that, they get that, you know, everyone loves silver sneakers, those programs, right? The depth and wealth of those different availabilities, um, you know, it travels with you, it's portable. If I'm in Virginia, but then end up going to Illinois to visit uh, my grandchildren, I can, again, use a silver sneakers facility and those locations. Not only that, they have a lot of virtual things uh, for these members this year. Something also that'll be loaded, preloaded on that tablet will be that 98.6. Again, 
those members at the touch of their fingers 24 7 have access to um, a board certified doctor right and so uh, you could be traveling you could be at home in clement weather whatever right maybe you just can't get out to get there for whatever reason you have that tablet and if your fingers uh, can do the, the the typing you'll be able to be connected at a zero copay to a board certified doctor what a great feature to have and then kind of following out on something new we want we like to um, let everyone know is we're going away from silver scripts which was a great company before but we're now powering with the power of optum Optum, which again is probably the biggest 800 pound gorilla there is. So that will give us the depth and wealth of that RX part of it, which gives additional savings, money, and then medicine, you know, for those key individuals that may need it. So again, they want to glaze over it, but these are all the great things that include uh, within our plan. We've added additional groceries for the OTC. And again, this is just a, a, a handful, right? And again, uh, if you don't see something on here, please feel free to let us know. We are able to pivot and move still to add additional um, uh, partners, right? And again, this is just, uh, a, a, again, I think a lot of these um, overlay in each of these states, right? And so again, wh where, are the, where are the grocery benefits, the cards in their network partners? And these are those that you can see on the screen today. Mentioned the e-care experience, right? Again, we're about, again, helping that member live and maintain a healthy life. And if you can look down in there exactly what that tablet is, and again, uh, I don't have mine with me, but the, the members get a tablet fully loaded, right? They can do the tele, telemedicine doctor visits. They can pre refill their prescription drugs. I mentioned before the health risk assessment, the plan information is on there. So if they ever forget, other than you know digging in their wallet or purse to find that card and flipping over, what are my plan benefits? It's there. Customer service and then uh, those additional health improvement programs that we offer that help those members. And, and again, a little bit more about, about that tablet, right? Again, have that active PCP. First and foremost, we want to make sure that to be able to kick all this in, they do have to complete that HR survey because that's where we're going to get all this key data and experience. And so if you're going to put them on a plan, let's go through the due diligence of having them complete the HR, uh, HRA survey, right? We know it's minimal questions, up to 15 minutes additional time after the enrollment, but we do give you a window to have that completed. And so don't fret, you know, we'll, we'll make sure that we get that done. Uh, I think from the time that they complete that to the time they actually get that, you know, was in, I'll say within a generous 30 day uh, window. But again, we're, we do our due diligence to get it out before that. That's just the framework. Again, uh, typically uh, once they complete it, our, we have a team of people in the Park Ridge office that get these out, that manage them and help our individuals, you know, if they have any sort of service issues, log on issues, we have a team of people that are in the Park Ridge office that help those members. We have the ability for your brokers to be able to go in and again, a full service. Uh, Evolve is used throughout some other different carriers. And so I won't, won't dip into this, but when you do get licensed and appointed, right, you get access to our Evolve. And what does Evolve do for you? Well, it is our onboarding and our certif certification um, landing page where you'll start, right? That's where you'll go. You'll set up your, 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 um, your profile, right? We do that within that, but that's where you'll go in be able to log in, you'll be able to uh, do your certification. But not only that, is there some other things. You can order materials through there. Um, the scope of appointment, which, which will be housed on there, one of the areas that you can get it. But most importantly is, hey, where do I go see my book of business and who is um, underneath Scott Van Order as I write all these applications this year. That is all housed in there. You can track that. You can see that. You can review your book. Uh, we can have additional training into that and kind of giving you the 50,000 foot overview, but we have the tools and resources for you to do your job on a daily basis and make it even easier for you. So we use the Evolve Broker Portal. 
And if you're not in contract, we can pass this. I think you're contracted. We do have, like Kanash had already mentioned, uh, we will send out the link if you haven't completed or any of your teammates have not completed the certification with us. It's it's very, very simple and non-cumbersome this year and easy, easy to get in and navigate through. I think once you go through the complete test, we have uh, test questions of maybe a 12 and under, right? Where it doesn't it's not like any of our competitors, right? Very broker friendly for 2024 season. And like we said, it everything is live and out there now. Again, all, all the, the key things I just mentioned before, we want you to be licensed and appointed, right? Um, you know, for CMS, we're going to continue to help in build your knowledge on Clear Springs Health with today's training, not only that, but additional training, whatever you might need, feel free to reach down to myself, Chase and or Kanasha to help facilitate or get additional training if you need it. And again, we've again, 85% or higher to pass and you have three attempts to do that. That should not be any, um, any um, reason for us not to pass that this year or any other year. But again, um, again, secure and documents, scope of appointment, prior to meeting face-to-face, -face, all, all those things that we abide by CMS rules that you know, we institute and, and they can abide by. Our first look landing page went live back in August, where again, I think we went over this on the prior call. We have that out there and we're kind of past the first look. We're now into the, the deep layer, obviously it's past the, the first, right? And so we, we're already into the plan benefits, but if someone needs those, we're gonna follow up today with a more in-depth um, more in depth of benefits for you, right? We can get hot sheets out to you. We can get um, state specific things to you. This is more or less, uh, wh what do we get for when we certify? But do we do have a broker landing page that they can go in and look at the first look um, after today. Won't go into all this, but this is pretty much standard through CMS activities, right? All those things that we need to abide by, right? We want to make sure that we're, you know, holding CMS, um, you know, rules and regulations. Um, and, and again, saying the rocket compliance, right? So we want to make sure that we're following all those key metrics that, again, won't read through them all, but CMS puts out there, uh, plan your rules, right? Have changed, right? And the most important one is we know that the new rule about the cooling off period for the scope of appointment. So that was probably more of the newest ones that CMS granted and pushed down um, to us for the 2024 rules. But again, making sure we want to abide by all CMS rules and regulations. Going into again, what we can and can't do uh, again, we can get into this on another, you know, versus marketing communications. Again, I won't re get into this, but again, uh, more at the top high level of the funnel, what we can and can't do to draw attention to our plans, right? What we can say and can't say. And here's the thing, if we ever need anything for if you're in the field or whatever, we can have CMS compliant material made for you uh, for specific events. We have two versions of our enrollment platform, which we're excited about this year. Uh, we have really uh, rejuvenated our Sunfire um, platform. And now we went to that next level where you have Sunfire, Blaze, Connect, but we also have Connecture. So either way that you feel comfortable of enrolling with us, feel free to do that. Uh, we love online enrollments, right? Because it seems to be foolproof, meaning you don't forget to dot an I, cross a T, leave a signature out or a date, right? It's a complete application from soup to nuts. Again, it eliminates all that potential missing information that I mentioned before. And then it, it, it just holds things up. We know it's sent that same day to CMS, right? And so that file is generated immediately. We have access to that. There's a clear, clear, and um, trail from where that came from to where it ended up. And I believe it's one of the most efficient enrollment vehicles that we have available. Now, again, for those that want enrollment kits, we will have those available. And I think it's important that we, again, um, tell a little bit more about our, our platform, right? Again, Sunfire Blaze Connect, what are the updates? If you, if you haven't been familiar with it, well, this year we went to, again, won't read them all, but something exciting is a telephone voice signature, right? The e-signature, 
the scope appointment is now part of the enrollment process. We have the version for uh, the infield version. We also have the e-signature for those that are doing it uh, virtually or in a call center, right? Immediate confirmation at the end of the enrollment, which is key because we know it's complete. It's, it's done. Um, and I mentioned before, it's sent in that file daily to CMS. So we know it's, it's foolproof. And then it automatically generates Sunfire Blaze access to that key HRA. And remember, we want those members to get all those great benefits that Kanasha and Chase talked about today and want them to have that ability. So we make sure that they complete that HRA for using Sunfire Blaze. And again, that complete audit trail, like we love clarity. And again, we'll get out the do's and don'ts, but pretty much similar to all the other carriers, right? The do's, the don'ts, and then the why's, right? We, we do the do's and leave the don'ts out. And then the why's are, why don't we do that? And again, select the PCP, right? We want to make sure that we're doing that. And again, don't leave a blank. And then why? Because it creates additional processing delays in auto assignments. And we know if I open a card when I get it at home and it doesn't say Dr. Scott Van Order and says Dr. Kanash on there right away, makes angst within them. And so let's review all the things that we do normally through everything and just take our time to make sure that we watch the steps from entering in the PCP, which again, you can enter in a wrong one, but again, making sure that we, we do our due diligence, not leaving it blank, right? The facility, right? Um, knowing that there's one application enrollment per beneficiary, right? All that good stuff, not entering in multiple applications, right? There's a, there's a stop gap, right? If, if there's issues with you, we have support for that. So, and again, most importantly, the complete the scope of appointment form. So all the do's, right? And we can go over the, the don'ts at another time. Same thing, right? We want to make sure that we're doing an income. Uh, we do not want to have an incomplete application, right? Uh, if there are uh, additional information, we will reach down to that beneficiary uh, to obtain that missing document. Again, this is if it comes old school paper, right? We have those teams of people that are in Miramar, Florida, that will reach back out to your member to make sure that if it's something is missing, we will get that something. And again, within that um, CMS regulated timeframe. Just so you know that if something's incomplete on a paper, we will reach back down through our team to get that completed. Came the same long lines, right? You know, incomplete application online enrollment form that was started but not submitted. We have, again, three processes that are in place for broker submittal that are missing required and or crucial, right? Incomplete application, though there'll be that RFI, right? A submitted application, but requested for additional information. And then most importantly, uh, that missing PCP will kind of make sure we want to do our due diligence specifically on the HMO submitted applications that we are making sure that we do put that PCP down. We have a great broker support team that is housed in the Park Ridge office that is there to take your calls and emails daily. And so they, they're housed right here um, and tethered to the broker community, which is exciting because you want to know that there's support out there. But also, what is the communication? After I start writing all these ap applications, what is, what is the next steps and what is the life? Again, from within that application gets sent um, electronically, right? Within that seven day window, an acknowledged letter is sent out to their receipt of that, followed within the next seven days of that confirmation letter, uh, confirming the enrollment. And then most importantly is the ID card sent within 10 days of the member's enrollment date. And then just wanting everyone to know, we don't send those out in any sort of, hey, your ID cards are in here, open up now. We know mail fraud is huge, right? And so making sure your members know it comes in an undisclosed envelope uh, and not to throw those out. If they're anything like my parents, they get a tons of mail uh, and they're uh, always throwing stuff. So make sure that we're letting those members know you're going to be getting this card within this amount of time. So watch for it, uh, Mr. Van Order. It's included in the welcome kit, right? Um, and then the welcome kit, again, within 10 days, we'll have their effective date. All the things that we have talked about uh, includes the ID card, the evidence of coverage. And then most importantly is we want to, within that 90 days, you know, 
do that health risk assessment. I think we want to do it within seven to 30 days, if I can be completely honest with us. And for those that need, you know, I talked to such great lengths, our broker support team um, can help you do your job on a daily basis, right? So in the beginning, if you need help with certification or a more so certification, I think we're all contractor, right? That team of people can help you. And there's the number uh, and the 800 number and or email, right? They respond back. So enroll, I mean, some of the things that could come up that might be an issue, enrollment instructions, right? Uh, enrollment status, effective date. Uh, member ID questions, um, anything and everything. When will the welcome kit come? Uh, if we need to uh, validate the beneficiary's name, address or phone number, we can do that all through broker support. Any sort of billing questions, they're tethered to the member service report, uh, report member services team down in Miramar, Florida, and or PCP changes. They can help initiate all of that or get you to where you need to be. Uh, we do like when we have our... Uh, brokers supporting our members in certain situations. If they do have to call member support, we like them to be on the call with them. If not only that, to help um, bridge that gap of uh, here is the member and this is the issue that they're having. Again, additional member support. Again, it's all about the member. Member therapy management, right? It, it, it gives that member th that, again, ability to chat with a clinical pharmacy team about what is working, what isn't working with medications, right? Um, we know doctors are can subscribe multiple things and we know three or four together can be a, a, a very tremendous uh, negative cocktail. So uh, having the ability to talk to somebody about what is and what isn't working, right? Member support on finding a pharmacy. Where, where's the one that's the nearest to me? Um, is it mail order I can do? Where is the national one? Finding a provider, again, um, we can help with that. Medical group, dental vision, all online through our broker support tool. And again, if we need additional um, help or request for ID cards, documentations, we have that available to help you. You know, eventually someone loses something or they misplace it, that, that happens all the time. We're there to help and support you. And then following up, well, what do we do with any sort of appeals or grievances? We have a team of people that review those um, diligently and respond back from anything um, this disfatticize the member, right? We're member focused and it's about making the member happy. So we have teams of people there if anything would go awry to help your members. And I'm going to stop there and say thank you for your time today um, and being able to share our story with you today. Uh, we're excited about Plan Year 2024. It's it's basically here. So you can see it. And if you could see me, you would feel it in my bones, but you can hear it in my voice how excited I am to be here and to give this message down to you and to be a very good advocate for you. With that, I'll stop uh, and pause and be on mute because I couldn't see if there's any questions coming in and see if there are any questions. There might not be, but. You're, I'll take silence as golden. I, I don't see anything in the chat box, but again, someone keep me honest if there is something or off mute. Um, no, not there's a... nothing. There's no questions at the moment. All right. Well, again, I, I Thank you for your time. I know that Kanasha will follow up with some more information about today's presentation, but if there's nothing else and there's no other questions, uh, we can give everyone back. I, I went over a minute, so I'll give you, uh, well, give you some time. <laughs> All right. Uh, is there anything that you need from us before we go ahead and exit out of the webinar? No, it's okay. All right. And if you don't mind um, just reaching out to Hugo um, it, for a follow-up for, uh, for today. That would sure. Be awesome. All right. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you so much. And take care. Remember that you can view this webinar again in the All Access Agent Portal. Log in, in through insuringuniversity.com. If you want to get contracted or you want to contact us in the future, our support information information is here. Please write it down or take a screenshot. Again, thank you so much for joining us today in today's webinar. We're looking forward to see you again on future webinars.
Thank you.